Welcome to another uh, Gintama chapter review. I am Colton, usually the host of Life Lessons, the Gintama manga cast. Um, for those of you just joining us, uh, these are just some manga reviews uh, that I like to do on the side. Uh, you know, aside from the normal podcast, I guess, uh, covering Gintama every week, or at the very least, you know, all the current material, because... Unfortunately, there's not really any room for me to do that on Life Lessons because we, uh, we're we more of a retrospective, honestly. Um, but I'm I'm sure, you know, all you knew that because you're probably listening to this on the podcast feed or on uh, on YouTube, hopefully. Um, I'm hopefully going to start putting these up on YouTube uh, this week. Um, if not, then I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to it sometime. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is... Uh, Basically, my review for Chapter 573, 10 years. Um, so, uh, just like always, if you only listen to Life Lessons and you haven't read past where we are in the manga, or you're just not caught up on the manga in general, uh, please do not listen to this. I do not want to be responsible for spoiling you, because uh, this particular chapter is a very big one. So, um, okay, cool, I'm just going to gonna get going then so i don't even know where to start with this one i honestly i don't have a lot to say um i, I don't i i guess here let's just start from the beginning uh so you know tagasugi's waking up and he starts going on this big monologue about raining and crying which i honestly i i didn't really fully understand but i think i get the gist of um but uh, I do love the end of his monologue where uh, Makoto has Takasugi's unconscious body as he's waking up and uh, she cries on top of Takasugi and Takasugi ends his monologue saying that he's sick of the rain, which um, as much as I don't care about Makoto, I thought that moment was very, very nice. That was a great way to start off the chapter. Um, I also want to... Uh, take note of this chapter's blurb, um, which reads, I'd like to kill the crows of the universe and sleep in with you, uh, which um, uh, I have found out apparently that's, um, I, I could be explaining this wrong, uh, but uh, according to uh, uh, Niente Nada, who, if you haven't heard of her, I mention her a lot on Life Lessons, uh, she is probably one of the most uh, knowledgeable Gintama fans I know on the internet. And uh, you, if, you, if you're if you on Twitter, you should really follow her. Um, I believe her Twitter handle is uh, Joy of the Joey. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably leave a link for that in the uh, description so that you can follow her because she's not only very knowledgeable about uh, Gintama, but she's also like t twice as much knowledgeable in history that was a sentence she knows her japanese history like the back of her hand so you should really be following her and she was the one who uh, made the connection um i guess uh she she was she talked about on twitter how the real life uh takasugi shinsaku i believe his actual name was um was a poet and uh he liked to dabble in a lot of poetry and this blurb is apparently a translation of an actual poem that he wrote so um so i hope that sticks around in the volume release for this because that's that really is super cool that uh that uh sirachi added this in or added, added this on to the uh, title page of this particular chapter um it's just a cool little detail if you if you know anything about the actual like hi history behind the world of gintama um which i do not for the most part and that's why we have Nada, and that's why I'm glad she's uh, she's uh, active on the internet. Um, where would I be without her? Um, I gotta have her on the show at some point. Hopefully, hopefully we can do that soon. But anyway, so I don't have much to say about this chapter other than that. I mean, Takasugi is a badass. Like, like I knew he was. Um, he's he's fucking destroying all of these Naraku guys. Like. Like I, I like I I love when he like fucking stabs the uh, stabs that one Naraku guy through the eyes and launches him like that's some that's some uh, 
That's some gruesome but badass shit. I love it. Holy shit. Like, I think I, I think I squealed actually, which I won't, uh, I will not replicate that. Uh, I'll just leave that to your imagination as my voice can go very high. So, you know, I just, uh, just, oh my god, I fucking love it so much. Um, and honestly, like, this entire chapter was just a giant, Joey 4, War 4, whatever, reunion. Like, this entire chapter is just a catharsis. Like, this is something that the fans have been waiting for for years. Like, you know, it's a, for the longest time, you know, so every once in a while we would get Gintoki, Katsura, and Sakamoto doing things together, and, and that was pretty cool, but this is the first time that we've ever seen Gintoki, Katsura, Sakamoto, and Takasugi all together uh, in the present timeline of the series, and I there's not there's nothing I can re- there's there's nothing really to talk about other than it just feels good, like seriously this is again this is just pure catharsis like what else can I say I like I, at, at this point I feel like I would just be like everybody else on the internet and just collectively fainting and squealing and just god this felt so good the the last two page spread of this chapter with the four of them together is just it feels so right it feels so good i love it um it's kind of a shame that uh they like i i feel like they i feel like shueisha used uh gintama for their cover and that color spread that we got last week a little too soon like i feel like I mean, that chapter was pretty big, too, because, you know, Takasugi awoke from his coma. But I feel like I feel like they should have waited and used all of that for this chapter. I feel like that would have just added to the hype, honestly. Um, I feel like it would um, make the chapter even more memorable. Um, I mean, I guess not that it really needs any help with that, because, my god, um, just... T- T- Takasugi saving Shinpachi, Gintoki saving Bonsai them giving back their swords to each other when you thought they were fighting each other and just Sakamoto and Katsura coming in and you know interacting with them like they used to you know like things are the same but they're not and it's just ah man so good like Gintama's a good series, guys. If, if you're listening to this and for some reason you haven't read any Gintama, which I don't know why you'd be listening to this, but just in case there's that there's that 0.1% that, that are listening to this and you haven't read or watched Gintama, you should really get on it. Like, it's moments like these that 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 make me, you know, yell to the heavens about why Gintama is so good and it's the best series ever to come out of Shonen Jump. Um, even better than One Piece, I would say, honestly. Um, and that's not me trying to be edgy or cool or having an opinion just for the sake of having an opinion. Like, I really do feel that way. And I love, I love One Piece. I really do. Like, I seriously love the fuck out of One Piece. One Piece was the first manga I ever got into. And, you know, that makes me cry a lot, too, but... Gintama's just so, it's... I don't, I don't want to sound like a dick, but it sounds, it's, it's just so much better, like... I mean, this this is a chapter review. This isn't this is this isn't a podcast segment where I talk about how much better Gintama is, you know, than everything else. But it's just it's good. Like this chapter was perfect. This was the again the perfect catharsis for for like so much has been leading up to this, and just I I, I can only imagine what this is like uh, reading this chapter. You know, the, specifically. The people who have been reading Gintama from chapter one and have stuck with it. Like, I can only imagine the, cathar- the, the catharsis that they're feeling as well. Um, such a, it's just such a good chapter. I think, I think I should just stop the review now, honestly, because I, like, I know I said I didn't have much to say last week, but I have a lot less to say this week, surprisingly. Um, it's, it's hard to find something good to, or not something good, but it's, it's hard to find something to say when, you know, something good. When something's bad, I feel like you have a lot more room to work with there, obviously, but like, if if you've been following Gintama long enough, you know why this is good. I don't need to explain it to you. It just, it feels so good to see the four of them together, and, th- and that's really all I can say. 
And I'm just repeating myself at this point. So, um, do I need to say it again? The chapter was good. Like, seriously, art was good. The characters are in character. And it was good from beginning to end. And that's, that's what I think about the chapter, if you haven't gotten it already. Um, though, something else I should mention is that, um, it seems like Kagura is going after Kamui. Um, so that's something I hope we see the result of in the next chapter or two, but I feel like I'm not very good at, like, predicting when Sirachi is going to do something or not. So, uh, I... I, I, I hope we see Kagura and Kamui and Umi, but like, I really, like, I know I say it every review and I really should stop because I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure people find it annoying, but you know, I just, I really want to see some Yato stuff soon. Like, like all this stuff was good. Like it was super good, but I really want to see more Yato fights because I feel like we didn't get enough of that in the Shogun assassination arc. And I really want to see more. I really just, I really want to see more Yato action and I, I hope I hope we get that in the next chapter or two, because I feel like it's coming soon. But then again, Sirachi is very unpredictable a lot of the time, so who who really knows? Maybe they couldn't, maybe they might not find it all. Maybe they'll actually work out their problems through, uh, through talking. I don't know, maybe. We'll just have to see. So, thank you guys for listening to me ramble on about how good this chapter is, and not much else. Um, so, join me next week for chapter 574. Hopefully... It might not be as good as this chapter, I'm not going to lie, but but I, I think I can assume it'll, it'll still be good. So, um, see you guys next week.